though? I am Donovan Batiste. Hey, and this is Leadership Mindset. Boom! And my sleeves, huh, you know they hugging. The same way we need to be hugging that center line on every landing. And here are seven tips to make sure you always have the perfect landing every time. Let go! Tip numero uno. You want to make sure you're flying the perfect pattern every time. Not sometimes, but every time that you're getting ready to land a plane. The landing doesn't start when you're on final or when you're on base. That landing has already started the second that you enter the traffic pattern. You want to make sure you're entering at the right traffic pattern altitude. You want to make sure you're not too tight and you're not too wide. All these things matter. The landing doesn't start later in the process. It starts right now. You entered that traffic pattern, so you wanna make sure you're always anticipating and planning ahead. And this is the very first step and the most important step to having the perfect landing is flying the perfect pattern. You wanna fly a nice shape, a nice rectangular shape, nice and squared off. You don't wanna be rounding things off too tight. You don't wanna be going too wide. None of these things are necessary and you don't wanna do them unless you're asked to do them it, per, per the circumstance that you're in. At that moment in time, you wanna make sure you try to fly as perfect pattern as possible, and that's gonna give you the opportunity to make slight corrections to get where you need to be instead of have to make drastic corrections because you're too high or you're too low or you're too tight or why. This is step numero uno, to have a perfect landing every time in an airplane. Numero dos, you're gonna to wanna to know the air speeds for your aircraft and not just the air speed for the particular landing that you're doing so you know that you're doing a normal landing so this should be your air speed. You're gonna to wanna to set air speeds and expectations for each leg of the pattern. You wanna know that on downwind, I'm usually at this air speed right here. Then I gradually bring it down for base and then I bring it down even further for final. Gradually adjust your air speeds, but know your air speeds and have them in your mind for each leg of the descent. This is gonna help you out where you're not making drastic corrections again. You're just flying the pattern and letting the plane gradually lose that energy. This is gonna help you out in the long run and make all of your landings perfect and good from here on out. Number three, you're gonna to wanna to maintain that sight picture, but you don't wanna just do the sight picture on final. You're gonna to wanna to start that sight picture on your downwind. You already wanna look outside the aircraft and you wanna look at what that sight picture looks like and what that perfect pitch looks like. Put the aircraft in the perfect position and then just leave it there. And as you go to base, maintain that sight picture. This is what it looks like. So that way when you slide that thing over the final, the runway just gonna come right into your sight picture because the sight picture has already been set back yonder, back on the downwind. This is exactly what you wanna be doing. You don't wanna wait till you get to final to start adjusting stuff. You've been adjusting from the get go, from the very beginning on downwind, so that way that sight picture's already in your mind, you transfer to that base, and then when you turn final, it's nice and smooth, baby. And then the runway just slide right into your sight picture and everything is everything. Numero cuatro, you wanna use your flaps on each leg of the descent. Just like you wanna plan those air speeds, and this is gonna come with time. As you work that pattern, as you get everything down, you're gonna know exactly what those air speeds are and where you need to be on each leg of that descent. You wanna do the same thing with those flaps. You wanna make sure you know exactly how much flaps you wanna put in in the very beginning on that downwind, and then how much you wanna put in on base, and then again on final. Know your aircraft, follow your POH, but then go by the pr principles of understanding where you need to be and how much you wanna put in where. And also understand the most important thing about flaps, when you're gonna be flapped out up in that thing. You wanna make sure that that power and pitch and altitude work in conjunction with your flaps. You don't just wanna jam the flaps and then get unstable and be wobbly. You wanna make sure it's in conjunction with everything that you're doing with the pitch attitude and with the power adjustments that you're making as well. And if you do it nice and smooth, huh, you're gonna be flapped out up in that thing. Number five, numero cinco, is one of my personal favorites and it's also one of the secrets to really good landings. You wanna be lively on them rudder pedals, baby. You wanna act as if you're in a tailwheel, even if you're not in a tailwheel, and you wanna be lively on those rudder pedals. Cause sometimes when you're, just in that aircraft and you're not putting in that proper input on the rudder pedals, it may seem like you're being a little bit too aggressive on the aileron. And most adjustments, particularly when they're slight like that, you can easily correct that with your feet and not your hands. So think about correcting things, particularly as you're turning, particularly as you're coming in the final, if you feel yourself drifting a little bit or that nose is not where you want it to be and it's not centered, instead of thinking about adjusting ailerons, adjust your feet. Rudder pedals, be lively on the rudder pedals. Be dancing on the rudder pedals like you're doing the merengue. Hey, 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 on the rudder pedals. That's what you want to be at all times to keep that thing centered. Keep that thing, keep that nose straight. 
Number six, for the best tips for you to have the perfect landing of an airplane every time, you wanna make sure that you always keeping that center line or slightly off your right shoulder. And you wanna set that center line when you up high. Altitude is always your friend when you're in the plane. Don't wait until you get on final, wait until you just 100 feet above the ground and start adjusting for center line. You wanna do that the second that you turn on final from base, you're already maintaining and getting on that center line. And it's gonna look like it's slightly off your right shoulder if you're chilling back up in that left seat. But as you start to come down, and as you start to come down, you're gonna see that thing come right between your legs and it's gonna look lovely. Remember, you always got those left turning tendencies. So what you wanna do, lively on them pedals, baby. Lively, merengue on them things. And you're gonna be just fine. Let that thing come down nice and soft. Numero siete are some of the best tips to have the perfect landing in the airplane every time. You're gonna to wanna to make sure as you're coming in and you're getting real close to that landing that you wanna keep the nose of that aircraft pointing down the runway. You wanna be looking down the runway and you wanna kinda of keep that nose slightly on the end of that runway. What that's gonna do is that's gonna cause you to get in a situation where you, where you at? Oh, you in ground effect, baby and you just riding that thing, letting it lose its energy nice and smooth as it goes down the runway. Use as much runway as you need and then you can make those adjustments. And if you've been doing everything right from the beginning, like you started the perfect, the perfect pattern in the very beginning and you're timing those air speeds correctly, it's gonna come down exactly where you want it to come down. Ride that ground effect on out, keep that nose down the end of the runway, you looking all the way down the runway, and lay it down nice and soft, baby. <laughs> and these are the seven tips for you to have the perfect landing in the airplane every time. What are some tips that you use to help you have the perfect landing each and every time? Pilots worldwide, let's each one teach one and help everyone perfect their landings each and every time that they are in the aircraft. I am Donovan Batiste. Hey, this is Leadership Mindset. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more pilot talk self-improvement and leadership tips. Hey, them sleeves is hugging like we hug like center line.